In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and share an editable file on Canva. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is click create a design in the top right corner. And then we're going to go down to custom size. I'm going to change pixels to inches and then I'm going to put 30 by 36. I'm going to be creating a welcome sign in this. So when I look online, what is the best welcome sign dimensions? We can see that the most purchased size is a 30 by 36. And that is where I came up with those dimensions. So I'm going to click create a new design. And now we are left with a blank document. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is go and find some elements to add on the border. So I'm going to click on elements in the left corner and then I'm going to go and search for some elements. So I'm going to type in flower. I'm going to go over into graphics and click see more. And I really like this one. I used it in a different video already, but I still really like it. So I am going to click on these three dots and scroll down to see more like this. So we get a bunch more like this. Now I'm going to scroll down because I want these purple and pink ones and I am going to find some to put on the border. So I can add this one because it's already meant for a border. So that's perfect. And then I am going to find another one to add into it so they look cohesive. Okay, that looks good to me. Now we're going to go and add some text. So this is going to be a baby shower welcome sign. So I'm going to type welcome and actually I'm going to click on this circle, make it bigger. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and make it all caps. Oops. And do an explanation sign. No, I'm not actually not going to do an explanation. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> I obviously cannot speak right now. And then we're going to go up to the A and this is where we can change the text color. And I am going to go down and you can see photo colors. We can change the text color to one of the colors that are in these pink designs if we would like. I'm going to change it to this purple one. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. And then I'm going to go find a cursive one. And I want to try to get the font in the photo to match. So what I mean by that is the style. So I kind of really think these flowers look really eloquent. eloquent. So I am going to find a font that kind of matches that. I'm going to go into cursive. I'm going to use my own name for this. And I still don't think that font quite matches. So I'm going to go find a new one. If you hear any grunting in the back, that is my baby. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to go and change the font to a lighter color. Let's see, do we like it black? Maybe I like it black. Let's try it. If you're going to pay attention to anything I have said in this entire video, make sure it is this. Now, I have already added a few elements. When I added them, I did not look to see if they were Canva Pro or Canva Free elements. So the way you can actually tell this is by clicking on the element and then going up to information. And you can see it's free for Canva Pro users. Now, 
What that means is that when you share this template, your buyers would need a Canva Pro account to be able to get the watermark off of the element. So if they do not have it, there's going to be a watermark over it and they will not be able to save it unless they have a Pro account. With that being said, the best way to make templates is by using free elements. So if I were to go and say I want to replace these because they're pro elements to free elements, I'm going to go back into elements. I'm going to keep flower up there and then I'm going to go up to this kind of bar. You're going to scroll down and there is a free option. You're going to click that. And when you click that, there will be a lot of options here that are all Canva free elements. So right here, I am seeing some that look very similar to what we already have on the screen. So I can go and do the same thing I already went and did. And again, you wanna stay away from any elements that have this crown on it. So you can see that these ones don't. So maybe I'll add those two and put them in these flowers place. Okay, so there's that one and then we could add that one right there and I'm going to have to readjust it just so the names are not over it. Now I have updated it so when users are downloading this template, they do not need a Canva Pro account. Now if you really want to stick with Canva Pro accounts, one thing I would do is mention that to the buyers. So you're going to have to make it very obvious that when you are buying this, you're going to need a Canva Pro account. So you can still work around it. However, if you don't, there will be a watermark over it. I always recommend to go onto Canva's website and read their licensing policies. It is so important, especially if you're going to be selling digital downloads. There's a lot more rules that you have to follow. Okay, so this is my final template. I think it's very simple, yet I would buy this. So I am going to show you now how you can share this template. So you're going to go up to share and then you are going to get a template link. Now it's important that you get a template link instead of just copy and pasting it from up here because if you copy and paste it up here, they're going to get your original document. But if you get a template link, I will show you what they will get. So if we go and add this template link into the URL and we click search, you can see a template created by Brittany Smith was shared with you. Start creating now. So we can go and do use template for new design. And then they can go and head and change whatever they would like but it's all on here. As a thank you for watching this video, I went ahead and created a file that you guys can put your template link in. So this is the file that I went ahead and created and I'll have it in my description of this video. So if you guys appreciate that, give this video a big like. <laughs> um, so all it says is thank you for your purchase and then you're gonna go ahead and add your photo right here. And then you're going to download the template link by clicking here. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go and hover over here. And then you'll see that these two chains come up. It says link. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to go and grab that template link one more time. And you can paste it in there. And then when someone clicks on it, it will actually bring them to your template. So you can see that there is the link and it would bring them to this template. The rest of the file says steps to edit your template. Click on the template link above. The link will take you to a page to open the template. Click on edit template. Use code SAVE15 on your next purchase for 15% off. Thank you again for your purchase. Now, if you do not want them to have a code, make sure to delete the end. Um, but if you are going to keep that, make sure to go and add that code into Etsy. And I can actually go ahead and show you quickly how to do that as well, just so you guys no, and you don't have to go figure that on another video. So what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go into marketing. You're going to go to sales and coupons. You're going to go down to create a promotion code. We're going to keep it at percent off. 
Then we're going to type in 15 and we are going to put it as today's date. And then I just like to go ahead and click no end date. And then we're going to put save 15 and then continue and you're going to do on all items and we can confirm coupon code now your promo code is live and ready to go selling templates is such an amazing passive income i sell digital downloads and i sell templates on my etsy shop and i absolutely love it because once you make the sale then it's automatically the work is done unless they message you so the only back work you really have to be doing is adding listings and responding to people's questions comments and concerns so I absolutely love it last night I was sitting on the couch I made a sale I didn't have to do anything for it but yet I still made money while I was watching TV so that is why selling digital downloads and selling templates is such an amazing thing this was a very quick video today but I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to give it a big like subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video bye bye for now